Hello everyone, Photoshop has been updated to a latest version that is 21.2. Your Adobe Camera Raw has been updated to latest version that is 12.3. And your Lightroom is also, you know, updated to latest version. I'm Ashok and today I'm, I'm going to tell you about the latest version of Photoshop. This video is more about Adobe Camera Raw and I'll tell you what is the basic difference from the earlier version to the newer version. Also, I will tell you and try to explain you uh, uh, the latest updates also the new features which has been introduced into 12.3. So this Adobe Camera Raw 12.3, believe me guys, this is an, an uh, amazing update and layout has been completely changed your typical layout of uh, latest adobe camera law looks like lightroom and those who are familiar with lightroom they can you know uh, see the you know difference okay arrangement has been changed it will take some time uh, for you to you know get familiar with the tools because you are used to of the earlier version like 9 10 11 12 uh, 2 are similar but this 12.3 has been completely changed with respect to layout with respect to some features so i am taking you to a slide where i have made you know the changes which has been made in 12.3 so this is the typical layout of adobe uh, camera raw so the changes where uh, i have highlighted in the red so can you able to see the changes has been you know almost like 80 percent change has been done in latest version of Adobe Camera Raw 12.3. Your film strip, which was there in the you know on the uh, vertical side, you can you know align on the horizontal. Your image rating is much easier here. Curve has been changed, amazing. I'll tell you and explain you how you can use the curve. Your HSL has been changed to color mixer. Your lens correction has been changed into optics transformation has been changed to geometry here you will see the typical you know lightroom kind of feature like on and off of each you know settings which you are making here in basic panel there is a new tab here if you are there in a local adjustment you can directly go to your basic panel just by pressing this okay there is a new this is called a new tab basic panel tab your crop rotate and uh, straightening has been changed all are come up into one under one tool your adjustment brush graduated ND filter and ready filter come up with a new uh, kind of uh, a feature uh, which is called hue I'll explain this snapshot you can directly right click and get the snapshot and uh, there are some other settings in this grid uh, view overlay has been slightly changed okay so i'll tell you uh, the basics you know differences and the layout and the new feature in this video okay so let us jump to adobe camera raw and then i'll explain each things okay so this is the adobe camera raw okay so the film strip now the film strip has been aligned either on can be aligned on either on the vertical side or on the horizontal side how you can do that right click and then you will see film strip orientation you can align it horizontal or vertical typically i uh, you know i am familiar with the earlier version that is the reason i am you know uh, changing it to like uh, the vertical orientation okay now your St this star rating has been you know amazingly you know come up here no need to go here and change the star rating you can give star rating from here itself okay now the this these tabs can you see your these tabs has been you know completely changed okay and one thing which uh, uh, i can tell you is this you know change of uh, arrangement of uh, the sliders from the horizontal to vertical it will take some time to you know get familiar with these you know changes but believe me after uh, using it for like a two three days i am quite familiar with uh, these changes and you will also you know get familiar if you are using for uh, one week you will get you know familiar with the uh, these you know changes okay this is the top right is called your toggle full screen 
this is a good feature okay a new feature also and here you will get more space to work save which was on the bottom left hand side now it come up with the top right side okay this is your setting in setting i will tell you what are the changes you can do here under the histogram uh, you will see this edit menu auto and black and white curve conversion okay this simple and very you know uniformly it has been you know layout has been changed now basic panel if you click on the basic panel all the slider would come here okay if you open the next one your basic would be automatically closed and then your next slider would open you can change this arrangement by going on the setting and open click on the general and click on the the uh, default is single it means once you open the next slider it what it does it, it will open the uh, uh, new uh, slider and it will close the previous one okay so i'll generally i normally i keep this to uh, responsive so that if it has been uh, it is having suppose space it will open the both the or uh, two or three sliders okay there is no change in the basic slider as such second uh, 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 tool is your curve curve has been changed significantly okay your parametric curve there is no as such change in parametric if you open click on the parametric you will see all the slider li like highlight light dark and shadows now your color curve your color curve earlier in earlier version you need to you know press on the drop down menu you click on red green or blue but now it has come up directly here if you click on the red you will see the uh, red curve here now the representation is really good if you uh, forget or if you do not remember the opposite of red is what you will easily able to see the color from here like from the green also you will easily able to see the colors okay for the blue also you will easily able to see the colors top is your blue and this is your yellow okay and this curve the change has been done significantly now the appearance of the pointers are really good typically like photoshop uh, pointers and you would easily able to drag the slider from top bottom earlier it is slightly you know tedious and the layout is small but here the you know the curve has been you know changed significantly i like this change now the third slider now the third slider is your details as such there is no change in details fourth one is your hsl now hsl has been you know changed to uh, rename it uh, to color mixer okay and uh, there is an additional you know feature two additional feature which is come up in the, under the hsl or called color mixer which is really good i'll uh, explain you what uh, what is the change here okay so in color mixer you will see hue saturation luminance which is similar to the earlier version this all if you press the all it will open hue saturation and luminance in one line that is new feature here and this is called color under the adjustment adjust in under the this color mixer you will see the color this is a really cool feature of adobe camera raw in 12.3 version now each color channel you will see hue saturation and luminance this is really good feature suppose for this image i wanted to increase the hue i'll just press on the blue and increase the saturation okay now the targeted adjustment tool you not know, targeted adjustment earlier where it was it was on the top menu now the good feature the good thing uh, what um, adobe has done your targeted adjustment has come up here earlier it was very you know difficult to go on the top then change on the targeted adjustment and go here and there but now it, it has come up here which is really good feature but in the like color tab you will not see the targeted adjustment why because your targeted has already been you know, displayed here the targeted color already been displayed here so this is the really amazing feature and a new feature in the color mixer or called hsl tool split toning there is no change as such optics has been changed with respect to its uh, arrangement 
function wise it remains the same it has a remove chromatic aberration and use profile correction if you want to dig more just click on this tab and you will see the uh, the more features here okay your transform tool or the perspective has been changed into geometry which is really good okay and uh, function wise it remains the same effects are uh, no, no change in this is same your calibration is remains the same so as such there is no change in these two sliders now come to the uh, this vertical uh, no, tools the vertical tools which earlier it was aligned on the top now it has come up on the the vertical side okay so this is a new feature which is edit okay so in edit what is happening is earlier when you were using this uh, local adjustment any uh, any of the local adjustment like brush or let's say about uh, if you are using gnd grad nt or if you are using a radial and filter you need to uh, if you want to go back to the main menu you need to press on the thumb or go back to uh, the other sliders and then uh, you get the edit uh, tool but photoshop has you know the latest version of ser come up with a new feature uh, they have dedicated uh, one you no know, button for the edit which is uh, here which is called e shortcut key is e suppose you are on the brush you are you know painting some area suppose you are painting on the sky area okay uh, and suppose you wanted to go back so earlier we need to press the hand tool but now if you press uh, the edit tool all the features would be you come back on the the, the uh, kind of a uh, general tab okay there is no change as such for the spot removal but for the crop rotate and uh, uh, straighten there is a change what are the those changes your straightening tool which was the on the top hand side it has come up under the uh, the crop menu or the crop tool here you will see the aspect ratio earlier you need to long press the uh, the top menu and then you will get aspect ratio now it has come up here you will see some you know uh, 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 rotate the aspect ratio then locking uh, the constraint the you know, aspect ratio here you can change the angle okay here is their straightening tool uh, it works function wise it remains the same okay and uh, there is no change as such but the arrangement really i like this arrangement because your straightening your aspect ratio everything comes under the crop which is really good now local adjustment brush grad anti and the radial filter there are two thing you know amazing feature here which is uh, recently you know introduced let me just you know explain suppose you are painting on the top okay i'll just click on the mask so that you, it can be you know easily visualized suppose you have painted on, on the top if you want to change the color of the 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 sky or uh, or the you know color of any object where you are painted you earlier you had an option of like temperature or tint but now the adobe camera raw has been you know updated with a new slider which is called u and believe me this is an amazing feature okay you can change the color let me just hide the mask and drag the hue from right or left and you will see the changes which is really good and cool feature if you press this use fine adjustment the speed of this change is typically you know decreased okay so this is really amazing feature uh, my request is just you know uh, try this uh, you know the, the, the few feature in the local adjustment and you will find difference okay there is no change as such on other you know tabs similarly like for grad nd and for the radial filter you will see all the you know sliders uh, uh, like hue slider in that okay for the snapshot uh, there is one change now you can right click on the image and then you will snapshot okay right click and you will get the snapshot option okay there is no asset change on the presets and also uh, 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 there is no asset on the other settings this is your hand tools remains the same your toggle between their like a sampler 
uh, overlay is um, here where you can uh, take 9 point sampling from here. Another thing in local adjustment which I wanted to tell you suppose you are on gradient D ok. <coughs> so, I have changed the exposure ok and if you wanted to go back or reset the tool need not to go uh, no uh, change it double click here or change it to 0 just click on the reset it will reset all the changes you make it ok. So, these are the you know typical changes which uh, are there in uh, Adobe Camera Raw uh, though it will take few you know uh, uh, time for you to get it you know uh, 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 familiar with the, uh, the this you know changes but my request is please you know uh, update your uh, Adobe Camera Raw get familiar with the, these new tools so that you can able to use the new feature. If you have any problem or difficulty in using the latest version of uh, ACR, please let me know. Hope you like the video and thank you for the watching.